morning everyone welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome my name's Ashley and I run two Etsy embroidery based shops and here on my YouTube channel I talk all about Etsy embroidery and applique and just running a small business from home so today I'm bringing you guys along on a Friday like normal as I work on my orders um, I wasn't sure if I was going to vlog this morning. I don't feel the best. I have some allergies going on, so you might hear that in my voice. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and push through and work and get my orders done for the week. And I'm going to bring you guys along and just show you how I do things. Um, I have like, I don't know, six or seven kids shirts and just a handful of jackets left for the week. Probably under ten. Um, so not a lot to do today, actually. Um, but I'm sure it'll still take me all day. That's usually how it works. It doesn't matter if I have 10 items or 100 items, it still takes me the entire time because um, I have terrible time management some days. Um, but we're going to go ahead and try to get these finished as quickly as possible and shipped out um, so then I can just take the rest of the day off and the weekend off. Um, I definitely need to take some time this weekend and reorganize my office. I've kind of let it go in the past couple weeks just because I, I, I haven't been busy. I don't know why. Just because I haven't done it. So I'm going to try to do that this weekend as well, or maybe today while I'm working. Um, but let's go ahead and get started. The machines are on. I haven't oiled them or done the maintenance yet. And um, all my files are set up, so I'm going to go ahead and transfer those over. And then I will show you guys as we get to working. So before I get working today, I'm actually going to pull out one of my Prime Day purchases. This is just a new tripod and camera stand um, to put you guys on. Uh, mine's about ready to fall over and it's holding on by a thread it's just about ready to break so um, i went ahead and bought a new one on prime day on amazon and i'm gonna go ahead and get that set up so that way you guys are nice and secure for the day um, hopefully this one is a little bit better quality than what i had it this was also a cheap one but the one you're sitting on is extra cheap quality wise so this one looks already looks a little sturdier has a handle to move it thing for my phone. It doesn't have a ring light on it, but that's okay because I don't really use the ring light I, like I thought I would. Um, let's All right. Yep, this looks, honestly, this looks so much better than what I'm using now. So I'm going to go ahead and get this set up, get you guys switched over, and get to work. Oh my goodness, yes, this is so much nicer, so much more sturdy. Um, like I had mentioned, this one's actually like cheaper than my previous one. My previous one was a ring light though that I could just hook my phone into. So it just, it was so close to breaking and it just didn't work well and it wasn't sturdy and I didn't like it. <laughs> and I actually paid more for it because everyone said, get a ring light, get a ring light. I don't like the ring light. <laughs> I like my light box for that. And then I'm just going to use a regular nicer tripod for right now my phone and then hopefully as I'm saving up um, I'm going to be getting a real camera soon um, so hopefully that'll help video quality for you guys all right so I went ahead and got all my machines oiled prepped ready to go it's almost 10 o'clock I'm getting a very late start for me um, on my six needle I have a jacket ready to go I have that one hooped up already on this 10 needle here on the counter I have names ready to go on three jackets um, I did go ahead and prep all my fast frames. I use six by six fast frames for all of my jackets and I prefer to tape with masking tape tear away on here. And then I also use a piece of poly mesh on the inside of the jacket. If it's a super dense like fill design or especially on a stretchy athletic material jacket, I do sometimes double this up, um, but I always use at least one. And then I went ahead and cut some stabilizer um, for my kids shirts that I know I'm doing today. Um, a couple of them are going to go on fast frames. I use the 8x8 fast frames on these specific shirts. I also use um, 7x7 along with the 8x8 fast frames for kids. Um, so I cut them one inch bigger than what I need. This is the only size I don't buy pre-cut for my fast frames um, because I just haven't found it um, in a stabilizer I like. So these are 9x9 um, cut from a roll for my eight by eight fast frames and then I also cut um, off of the 12 inch roll for shirts that I'm going to use mighty hoops with I cut them like 11 or 12 inches wide and then it's off of a 12 inch roll um, this 12 inch roll of tearaway I buy from World Widener either through their website or on Amazon 
Um, it's usually cheaper on their website, but if I need it in a pinch or faster, I will order it through Amazon. They do sell through Amazon as well. Um, and then also on my kids' shirts, I use poly mesh, and I buy pre-cuts for this usually. Um, I do not use fusible. I just use an adhesive spray. You can certainly buy adhesive, um, fusible, poly mesh. Um, I use the 8x8 eight eight squares on smaller items, and then with my Mighty Hoops, um, I use the 10x10 10 10 size. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get those going and start getting a couple of my shirts ready to go and prepped. I have like two, I think, sports birthday ones and two like dinosaur ones, I think. So I'm going to do those like consecutively so I don't have to change the setup on my machine. I just would have to change out the file, um, but I'd already have the colors and the font and our colors and um, fabrics already out. So that saves time. Um, like someone mentioned, they, they think I do a good job at getting through everything because I batch my work and that they definitely have a point. I do try to batch stuff. I try to do like similar things together. I try to plan out where I'm going to um, embroider on things like what's going to go on this machine, what's going on here, what's going on my other tin needle. And it's just to make the best use of my time and um, my su supplies and my machines. Um, so I do simpler stuff on the six needle. Things that have more color changes I do on the tin needles like appliques. Um, if I notice that, you know, for a certain order, I need hot pink thread or something, you know, which of these machines has hot pink thread? That's what machine's going to do it just to minimize, um, color changes. It doesn't take a long time to co change color thread since you can just tie it off and pull it through. But even reducing that, you know, 30 seconds is helpful. Um, the less downtime you have, the more money you can make in an hour is how I look at it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get these machines running so they're making money. And then, like I said, get an applique going on this um, machine in the back.
long and my camera shut me off at some point because my phone's out of memory. So I had to delete, go and transfer and then delete a bunch of stuff off. Really, really, really am working to save to upgrade to a vlog camera because that's really going to help me out and help the videos out for you guys too. Um, and it'll probably help with the sound quality. I know my videos are quiet and it's because I'm using my phone. So working on it, hopefully um, some money I have coming in now, it will be going straight to that. So got a couple things done. Um, got the first shirt done. I have another one of these to do. I think it's in a number two. Um, a couple more jackets to do. I actually have all my jackets hoops that I need to do for the day, so that's exciting. Um, if I can get these done real quick, um, then I'll probably switch over one more machine to applique shirt. Um, and then I do have a baseball cap I need to monogram as well. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get the next one of these going since the machine's already set up um, for this design right now.
So I have a full tutorial on how to use the Derpy Cap Hoop for monograms on baseball caps. This really works best for unstructured caps, so the ones that are super flexible, they don't have that hard um, front on them. Um, but I do have a video and I'll link that for you guys up above. But the basics of what I do is I use some masking tape just to tape the um, inside like seam of the brim down so it's not going to get in the way of embroidering the area. Um, I, this is one thing I do use sticky stabilizer for. This isn't very sticky just because it's old, so I am going to do just a tiny bit of adhesive spray as well, um, just for my own personal preference. You shouldn't need that if you have good sticky, sticky adhesive um, stabilizer, though. I do not use any type of poly mesh or anything else on here, and I just lay the cap flat. I try to flatten out the brim as much as possible. We'll loosen up the thumb screws. Um, you stick the cap bill underneath the holder, get it centered up. Like I said, there's lines on here that you can help center it. Um, I found if you don't push the seam all the way down to the bottom, you can get a little bit closer um, stitching to the, the bottom. So I've been trying to not put it down as far. There's that. So once I have that, I tight, go ahead and tighten this down because I don't want it to like get off center or uneven. I'm going to stick this down. I start in the center and then I just kind of work my way out and just make sure it's um, adhered down all the way. And then now it's all hooped and ready to go. I'm going to take it over to my machine and just make sure it's centered on the center seam of the actual cap and then try to get it down as close to the brim as possible. Um, it still does give you a little bit of space. You're never gonna be able to get it all the way down there um, with this type of hoop, um, but uh, we'll get it close as possible and I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done.
of jackets that need to ship this week. I still have several kids' shirts. I've got definitely two more um, in addition to the second dinosaur one that needs to go. Um, so since I have this machine already running, one of the T-Rex or dinosaur ones already, I'm going to leave it there for it to stitch next. And then I'm going to actually get both of these machines going on applique shirts too. I know I don't do that very often, especially with a six needle, um, but it's one that doesn't have a lot of color changes. Um, I'm just going to make sure to put that one over there. And then this one has most of the colors for the other one I need to do, so that works out great. So I'm going to get those um, hoops. I'm going to have to use my dirty hoops. I only have two of the mighty hoops. That's fine. I actually like these. Um, you just lose a little area around the corner compared to the more square mighty hoops. But otherwise, it's just like traditional hooping. They're super easy. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get those prepped and ready to go on these other machines. ready to go I'm gonna go ahead and click start on it it's all appliqued and ready to go and it's a pretty quick stitch out it's got like mate less than 20 minutes left um, while that one's been doing it I've been working on this one on the side um, like a little cat mermaid um, this one sometimes when I'm doing appliques I literally just cut the applique part out or the fabric just enough so that um, it's out of the way for the next applique piece. I don't always trim it all the way. And then I can trim them all at once when I pull it off the machine and um, be able to swivel the hoop around as I need to. And then this one just finished up, one of our T-Rex ones. And I have the other one here prepped ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and start this one. Once I get all three machines going, I'm going to probably go take a break for a little bit um it's like 12 45 i should probably just package stuff up so i'm not running late to the post office but i'm gonna take a break i'm tired today i don't feel the best so um get these going take a break and then i'll come back down and package them um, and get them to the post office this afternoon 
all the tack downs are run. Now I'm going to go back and trim the rest of this. Um, I just wanted to clarify on that. Like I don't wait till it's satin stitch is done. I just wait till every, all the tack down and placements are done. All the fabrics on here. Then I go back and trim. Um, that was just so I didn't have to, you know, take the time to do that all earlier. I can do all the um, more detailed work all at once. All three of my machines almost finished stitching. This one's done. And this one's all done. And my donut one. It ran out of bobbin thread on the last um, letter for the name. So I'm going to get that one finished and get my heat press warming and um, start trimming all the shirts and jackets up so I can get these shipped out. It is 1.40 in the afternoon, so I have like an hour and 20 minutes before I need to leave for the post office. Hopefully that should be enough time. I don't see why it shouldn't be, but um, I need to get these done and then I'll get them packaged up for you guys what I got finished for today a couple of these I just had to add names to but most of it I did to today um, quite a few jackets are done um, all those a couple um, heavier fleece ones over here the cap you saw me make earlier and then a bunch of kids shirts these are trimmed and I trim around um, the poly mesh I don't trim threads on the back like your, your machine should be cutting them close enough if you have a multi-needle. Um, you should really only have to trim threads on the inside if you're using a single needle. So um, I don't bother with that. That's just time consuming and unnecessary in my opinion. Unless it's like close to the edge and it's black and it might show. But otherwise I don't mess with it. So I'm going to take these over to my heat press and tinder touch them. I don't have any cut so that's a bummer. Um, I try to keep a bunch pre-cut so uh, when I go to heat press I can just grab off the stack I don't have any, so I'm going to have to cut as I go. Um, but that's all that I got done for today. Um, I just wanted to thank you so much for joining me today. I hope this was helpful. Um, if you guys have any specifics that you'd like to see um, full videos on, just let me know. I've got a whole list started of things you guys have been suggesting, and I appreciate that because I want to make sure I'm recording and uploading what's going to be helpful to you, my followers. Um, so I will see you guys next time.